Hey guys, I'm back, and today I'm here with another part of my Batman Villains minifigures. So this should be part six, I believe. I believe I did five parts. So I have uh, I have two new ones and one updated villain to show you. So if you remember, I did a, vid a solo... Uh, oh, and the figures are Deadshot, Deathstroke, and Firefly. So if you remember, uh, a few weeks ago, I posted a video of my Deadshot minifigure, a solo video. I've updated him slightly, so I'll go ahead and show you that. So what I've done was I repainted his mask to be like a dark charcoal gray and then kept his equipment to be black and that's all and I painted his shirt a dark charcoal gray too so that's all I've done and you can kinda see the black lines that I added on his forehead and around the mouth area and then I outlined the eye in black as well and that's all I've done to Deadshot uh, I can run through the figure really quick if you didn't see that video uh, painted boots and knee pads, a cloth belt that's glued on, a cloth holster, holster made on the side of his leg, jacket made out of uh, cloth as well. His van braces are made from modded brick forge, and then this is a scope from a Lego clone rifle to be his gun. His torso is uh, painted by me, and he has a uh, he has a strap out of electrical tape. The hood is a modded Lego hood that I cut the hood off of and glued it on there. And his eyepiece is from a Brick Arms frag grenade, and his headset is from Minifig Cat, I believe. So yeah, that's it for Deadshot. So, let me show you the new figure, which is uh, well, one of the new figures. Here's Deathstroke. So, I really like how this minifigure came out. Uh, let me give you a quick spin of him. So this is one of my best figures I have to say and one of my favorites at this point. Uh, so he's based off Arkham Origins pretty much. There's a few differences but not much. And if you remember Deathstroke was my first video on my channel that I actually spoke in. It's a terrible video. Don't watch it please. But uh, it, the first video on my channel is like a slideshow. Second video was just of Deathstroke. It's a terrible video. Don't watch it. But I can show you that figure so you can see how far I've come. This was like two years ago. So the one right here is the one I made two years ago, and then this is the new one that I made like last week. So you can see what a few years difference can do when uh, it comes to skill. So Deathstroke here, his mask, I'll start with, is actually an Ultron helmet, a uh, sculpt modded with green stuff on the, for the eyebrow and for the filled in eye and the lower half. If I turn it, you can actually see the rest of the Ultron helmet. His ribbons on the back of the helmet are just made of electrical tape. His uh, his torso, you can see the side, it's 3D, so the actual armor piece on the chest is cut from plastic card. These two straps right here on the down by the abs are uh, electrical tape, and so is the strap that goes across him and over his shoulder and continues onto his back. This sword is a brick arm sword that was uh, cut and then painted to look like it was holstered and glued to his back. This piece of armor right here, this blue part with my end of my thumb, that's also, if I uh, take these and lift them up, you can see uh, yeah. you can see that some of the armor is painted, but that piece is also plastic card. Uh, his shoulder pads are Brick Warrior's Greaves, and his gauntlets are Brick Warrior's... Uh, Van Braces that I've painted. I painted a little orange on his hands. Uh, this little pouch here and these two pouches here are electrical tape. Uh, not electrical tape, I don't know what I'm saying. They're cut from plastic card as well. His knee pads are cut from dried green stuff. His, uh, all these legs and then all his, his legs were just uh, painted by me. So there's no like cut stuff on his legs besides the knee pads. Everything else is just painted. And uh, I really like how this figure came out. It looks very nice to me. A lot of people really like this one. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really know to say about this guy. I really like it. And again, you can see the difference that a few years can make. So, if you think you're not very good now, just give it a few years. Keep working at it and you will improve. So, the next figure is Firefly which I just finished last night. So here he is, you can see his wingspan. Uh, so first of all, let me show the gun so I can get that out of the way. The gun is just made from 
a Lego piece, some brick arms items, and a rubber tube for the barrel. And that's it for his flamethrower, pretty much. I I really don't even, it's not, I'm not a huge fan of it. I just made it so he could have it. So here's Firefly. So his mask, his uh, gas mask is from, I believe, Minifit Cat as well, modified. I cut it so it fit. His wings... Uh, this is a minifigure hand. Here's a mini, like one of these claw pieces. This and this is made from like those Lego fins with the clips, two clips on them. They were cut up. This is a wheel, like a rim, and this is another rim glued inside this one. And they made two of those the exact same way. They're just parts glued together to fit correctly, and they can rotate here. They could rotate forward and back at this point, but they were very loose, so I had to glue those hands in place. Uh, the piece that they're attached to was actually from an old Mega Bloks set, a War Machine from Iron Man 2. So that's what the minifigure hands have slid into, and that's what it's lodged around his neck. I also just glued like a brick to his back, just just because I could. His back is pretty plain, but I don't really mind that. Uh, the little canisters right here under his gas mask are actually just minifigure hands that are glued there. And then the strap that's going over them is electrical tape. His arms are painted, and these little gauntlets are made from uh, minifigure hands. These two little pockets on his belt are made from uh, cut plastic. And then the two knee pad kind of things right there are also minifigure hands. And then you got I have electrical tape for the cuffs of his boots that wrap around all the way around. And then everything else was just painted. And that's pretty much it for Firefly as well. So, oh uh, well, I can say, I, you can see I did a lot of silver dry brushing because it's just black and yellow. So I did try to uh, make some highlights where you can tell things were raised, especially on this armor piece. I did a lot of silver dry brushing so you could see that. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me, okay. Gonna have to lean him forward some, so... Because he is very back heavy. So if I move death stroke into the frame as well and get dead shot back in here. And I'll actually just go ahead and put him back on the minifig base. And death stroke fell. I'm not having a good time right now, am I? Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, next video will be. Actually, my 100th video, so that'll be cool. I've posted 100 videos, which is kind of hard to believe. And uh, it'll be on the final Zootopia figures that I haven't shown on YouTube yet. If you really want to see them all, they're on my Flickr and my Instagram and my Twitter. Uh, by the way, check out those three things. I have all of them. But uh, the final figures will be posted. I think there's only four of them. There might be five. I can't remember. I'll have to check. But that'll be the next video that's out. It'll also be my 100th video, so we'll see if I do anything special for that. Uh... So yeah, if you like the video, let me know which of these figures do you like the best. Um, and let me know that too. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.